Are you ready for an adventure? Do you feel like you're leaning? Surprisingly, you are. In fact, the entire Earth is a little off kilter. The axis is an imaginary line that runs from the North Pole through the center of the Earth to the South Pole. The Earth rotates or spins about this axis. This axis is tilted at about a 23.5 degree angle. Keep in mind, however, that this tilt does change. So exactly where did this tilt come from? Scientists aren't 100% sure. They can, however, form a theory on the matter. Many believe that this tilt is a result of a large impact during the early part of the Earth's life. About four and a half billion years ago, this impact bumped the Earth over a bit. Thanks to this tilt, most of the world experiences four different seasons. These four seasons, summer, winter, spring, and fall, have a profound effect on the Earth's fauna and flora. The seasons are characterized by particular weather patterns that are as familiar to us as night and day. In the summer, we come to expect warm, sunny days. Crops grow, trees stand tall with green leaves, and animals find many available resources. We swim, play baseball, and enjoy the outdoors. The colorful fall brings us breezy, cool days and thoughts of playing in the leaves. While conifers hold their waxy leaves, deciduous trees drop their leaves in preparation for winter. Birds and other animals migrate to warmer places. Some will begin the process of hibernation, and others will prepare for winter's scarceness. Winter beckons colder temperatures and gives us images of snowball battles and sledding. We rarely see animals in winter. Plants are more like sticks, and the cold keeps us indoors. Spring's freshness washes away the winter. Migrating birds return from their winter getaway, and animals emerge from hibernation. As rains soak the ground, plants sprout back to life and fills the land. Beautiful flowers begin to emerge in our gardens. This is all because of a little tilt on our axis. Here's how it works. We'll start in the summer, and we'll say that you live here, somewhere in North America. Pretend that this flashlight is the sun. Since it is the summer, here in North America, the tilt of the Earth will be toward the sun, or in our case, the flashlight. It is almost as if the Earth is leaning into the sun. Notice how the light shines from a steep angle and remains that way for a longer period of time. This is why the sun is straight overhead at noon in the summer. This direct light creates longer, warmer summer days. Let's flip the axis so it points away from the sun. Here we can imagine the Earth leaning away from the sun. The sunlight now comes in at a low angle. The light will not stay out as long and therefore cannot heat the Earth as intensely. This angle also makes the light reflect or bounce off the atmosphere. When you're outside on a winter day, you may notice the low angle of the sun as it seems like it's shining right in your eyes. Perhaps you're wondering, since the Earth can tilt toward and away from the sun, is there a time that it doesn't tilt? The equinox, meaning equal night, is the name given to the two times of the year that night and day are the same in length. One, called the autumnal, occurs in fall. The other, called vernal, occurs in spring. Whether you live in the northern hemisphere or the southern hemisphere is of no concern. The axis is not tilting at this time. In contrast, a solstice is when the tilt of the Earth's axis reaches its maximum angle compared to the sun. This occurs twice during the year. In the summer, the sun's rays hit the Earth at a steep angle, so we have long daylight hours. The summer solstice is the longest day of the year. In the winter, the sun's rays hit the Earth at a shallow angle, so we have short days and long nights. The winter solstice is the shortest day of the year. While the northern hemisphere is in the summer solstice, the southern hemisphere is in the winter solstice. Based on this, we can now conclude that when the northern hemisphere experiences winter, the southern hemisphere experiences summer, and vice versa. We can thank that large impact from billions of years ago for tilting the Earth slightly off-center. This has given us the four seasons, which is something that I thoroughly enjoy experiencing. Like I always say, every day is a new adventure waiting to happen.